talking about hey welcome to another episode of the folder i'm ruben as you all know uh it's been a while since i've been on here uh had a little technical difficulties with some things but i am back on here and it feels good to be back i miss doing this so we're gonna we're gonna get into this here in a minute but i just want to thank everybody for uh listening to my last episode called bound um it's pretty pretty heavy stuff but um, I appreciate everybody that's been listening, everybody that listens, everybody that that uh, keeps listening to the to the episodes that I've done. Um, it's it's very appreciated, and I thank you for that. I want to give a shout out to my uh, best friend Lonnie Northmore out at Belton, Texas. Thanks, Lonnie. You're one of my or the faith most faithful listener that I have. I appreciate it. So shout out to Lonnie Northmore. I'd also like to shout out to uh, Bill Bracewell, one of my good friends, uh, retired military, retired uh, law enforcement. Happy birthday, you crayon eater. Enjoy your day today, and um, and I'll be talking to you soon. So, <laughs> yeah, me and Bill go way back. So uh, I'll be sharing some stories, you know, maybe some other episodes about, about things, about people that I've met during my journey, my life journeys, and things like that. Be pretty interesting but uh today uh what i want to talk about is um i want to talk about your dreams we all have dreams and this stems back from early childhood because it's like people ask you what you want to be when you grow up that's one of the main things you know that and i do that to, to some kids just to see what they're going to say you know, but nothing's impossible. So like people would ask me, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I would say, I want to be a police officer. You know, that was one of my dreams to become a police officer. Um, somebody asked, oh, what's your, what's your uh, dream? Oh, become a doctor or become a lawyer or become something else. But it's like, I asked a person one time, like, you know, what, what, what do you want to do when you, when you grow up? What's your dream to grow up? Oh, my dream is to take over my family business or my dream is to uh, to be helping one of my my dad out at work or help my mom or help out, you know, wherever I can with my family. And that, and that's there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I, and man, I'm all for that. You know, just go go do that. You know, I asked I asked my brother Maurice, you know, he's, he's the owner of Tex American Floor and Floor Co. And we talk a lot in and. Uh, and I'm like, man, you know, I asked him what his dream is. His, his dream is to have Tex American Florin, you know, and he's been doing really good with it. He's been doing real good. He's uh, He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's talking about. He knows a lot of the Florin products. He knows a lot of stuff. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because he's my brother. It's because, like, he's actually done his homework on on different, you know, the, the products, the techniques, the installation techniques, uh, and things like that, you know, and, and he's doing, re- he's doing really good. And cause that's his dream, you know, he hits his dream. And if you have a dream, you need to make it happen to the fullest of your capabilities to make it happen. Because if you don't, it's just going to be like a halfway thing and there's help all the way through whatever you want to do, whatever you want, 
your dreams to achieve, there's help all the way through by books, by internet, by other persons' experience, other uh, people's experience, um, the experiences that you've had with other jobs and things like that. Because a lot of times, you know, we, sometimes we're not happy with the with the job that we're in, or we don't we don't want to be there no more, or we think that we can do something else and there's something else better for us. And you know, I'm not saying that there's not because there is. There's always something better. You always have to climb up. You always have to move forward, and not be satisfied with just okay. You have to move forward because you can always improve yourself. You always there's always some kind of room to for improvement. And you can't just settle for mediocre or just okay or just all right or just the right now. Look into the future, look into the past, put everything together, mix it up, and you're gonna you're gonna see where where everything comes into place. So work experiences. Work experiences can play a lot a lot of things because let's say that you're in an industry that you know that that one that one of your dreams is like whatever it may be, but you're in that that industry, right? And you're working it to try to figure out things, like to put your foot in the door, let's say, and it just starts going bad for you, and you and it starts like it starts sucking for you, and you're like, I don't want to do this, man. It's just I thought it was gonna be different. I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was gonna be easier. I thought it was gonna be like all like, uh, you know, just like walk apart, walk in the park, but it's hard. It's difficult. You know, people get on my nerves and, oh, you know, I have to do this and I have to do that. You know, take all that, take all that experience, that bad experience that you had and turn it into something positive. Because if you just stay and you just like dwell on negativity, you're going to stay in a negative state. You're going to stay in a negative mindset. You're going to stay in that spot and you're not going to move forward. You might even move down, but you're just going to be stuck right there. You know, take all that stuff and turn it into something positive. Turn it into like, you know what? Like the way these guys are being treated over here, I don't want to, I don't want to treat when I get my place or when I open my business, I'm not going to be treating my people like that. Or I'm not going to be paying my people the way that they're paying me right now. Or I'm not going to be doing this. I'm not going to be breaking these policies like other, like other people are breaking policies and things like that. But you have to put yourself in that mindset, because if you just stay there, like, oh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. You're going to stay there. But if you turn it into something positive, that's when your gears start turning. Let's say your gears start turning. You're like, well, I want to do this. I want to change this about this. And all that is doing is just planting seeds in your mind, planting seeds in your heart. So that way, you know, it's going to, those gears are going to start turning. You're going to start thinking, you're going to start looking outside of the box because a lot of times we just look in the box and it's empty. You know it's empty, but all around, if you look all around the box, there's 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 all these all these uh, you know precious stones, you know precious jewels that that are there for you. But sometimes we just get so focused on inside the box, and all we see is emptiness, darkness, um, silence, and things like that. But if you look outside of the box, you'll see a whole new world, a whole new something else that'll push you and throw you forward. You want to get thrown forward. You know, sometimes you just want, oh, I'm going to just step out of the box. No, throw yourself out. Throw yourself out of the box. Throw yourself forward. Move yourself. Push yourself. Motivate yourself to do that. You know, the worst thing you can do is just sit there and feel sorry for yourself. Oh, this is not going to work. This is not going to happen. I don't know what I'm doing. This is too much. Or I don't have, you know, the 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 finances to do this. There's always a way that it's going to happen for you, especially if it's deep root, rooted deep in your heart that you want to do it. If it's in your mindset and you have this positive mindset, like I really want to do this, there's going to be a way that it happens. I've heard so many, so many success stories on people just giving up and just sitting there and thinking, what am I doing here? Like, what am I doing putting my family through this? What am I doing here? Just sitting here like I have nothing and this and that. And all of a sudden, a little door opens, and they walk through it. They squeeze through it, and on the other side, that's their dream. Yeah, it's going to take work. It's going to take hard work. It's going to take perseverance. It's going to take a lot of 
like, man, it's gonna, it is, you're gonna have to have a lot of stamina to keep going forward. You have to because this is part of your dream. Now, if it's just if you're just by yourself and like let's say you're not married, you don't have kids and 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 things like that, and you, you're motivating yourself to like, hey man, I want to make some money, I want to do this, I want to do that, or I want to help people, or I want to open up a business so I can help people, so I can do this and that, and or or help in my community. You know, you're gonna motivate yourself. You're gonna do do everything you can. You're gonna you're gonna put yourself and you're gonna go through things. You're gonna go through through classes, through schools, uh, through anything that you can do to make it happen. Now, if you're married, like one of the things that I can do is is the biggest pieces of advice I can give you is let your family be your motivation. Let your kids be your motivation. Let your grandkids be your motivation to do something, and you'll see how how it's it'll change your your life like for me like i want i want the best for my kids and my grandkids and i'm gonna do anything i can to make it happen for them you know i'm gonna get a better job i am gonna start a business i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that you know that's what we have to do and that's what i'm gonna do you know i'm gonna get a better job i'm gonna go to more classes i am gonna go to do that i'm talking for myself I'm going to go get certificates. I'm going to get certified in this. I am going to go get a degree in this. I am going to go to like some kind of trade school. I'm going to put myself through these courses. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to do that because I want my kids to be happy. I want my grandkids to be happy. I want to leave something behind for my kids, my grandkids. Heck, I want to leave a legacy for them. Now, is it going to be worth billions and billions of dollars? Um, I don't know. Probably not. But you know what? I will leave something for them that's going to impact their life forever and the generations to come. And that's for me. That's just me talking. So if that's you, hey man, come on, get it, get it, get on that on, on that legacy bandwagon so you can do it. Don't be a legend. Leave a legacy. A legend comes and goes and will soon be forgotten. But a legacy continues on for generation after generation. That's the difference. I don't want to be a legend. I want to leave a legacy behind me. And I've told my kids and I've sat my kids down because they're old enough. Like, I want to leave a legacy. I do not want to be a legend. I want to leave a legacy for them. And maybe you should too. So, I mean, that's that's all on you. You can do whatever you want. It's your life and stuff. But that's what I'm going to do. So... What are some of the setbacks of attaining your dream? Like besides finances and and uh, bad experiences and things like that. Sometimes uh, people themselves can hold you back from uh, from getting to that dream, whether it be family members, friends, um, and people like that. And you know, it's sad to say sometimes it's it's your own family that really does a number on you and i and i i will never understand why they do that especially you know if i mean man it's 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 family you should help each other out you know i i always i always believe that you should help family out. and i'm talking about like you know how you know i got a bunch of aunts uncles cousins um i always think that that it's good to help them out but you can't be the only one that's just like throwing stuff out there you know, it's got to be a two-way street, man, because if you're just throwing stuff out there, throwing stuff out there, throwing stuff out there, and giving it, and giving it, and giving it, and they're taking and taking, but you're not getting nothing in return, then, I mean, how is that helping you? You're helping them, but they're not helping you. And, I mean, this is just a little side note and stuff like that, but I, I really think that, you know, that that if, if, if a family were to put all their skills and all their knowledge together there would be an unstoppable force. But it seems like people want to be so individualized that that's what messes up a huge family. Because, man, let me tell you, like the the size of family that I have, oh, man, we could be an unstoppable force. If we all put our knowledge together, our resources together, we could be unstoppable. You know, we could be great, you know. But, uh, you know, of course, you know, life doesn't work that way a lot of times. And, you know, we have to do things for our for our small family, you know, like like that's our extended family. But we need to do something for our immediate family, like our brothers, sisters, you know, kids, grandkids, 
you know, and, uh, you know, nieces and nephews. And because like, if, you know, whether, whether we like it or not, you know, there's going to come a time where you're going to be there by, you're going to end up by yourself and all you're going to have is your siblings or your nieces and nephews, you know, or your, I mean, your cousins too, you know, but, you know, and I, and I was fortunate to like, when I grew up with all my cousins, especially on my mom's side, you know, we all grew up like we were like brothers and sisters, you know, we grew up like, like we were inseparable. Like we were always together. We did every week. There was so many of us in the same grade that, man, it was just, there was a bunch of us together, you know? And, uh, but I mean, that's, that's how, that's how, that's how it is sometimes, but you know, it can change, you know, we can change. We can do a lot of things and we can, we can redirect this path that we, that we're, that we're on. Cause sometimes we start walking and we get so focused on this one path and, and it, it'll lead you to where you want to go. You know, no, no doubt about it. It's going to lead you to where you want to go. But then where we're walking, there's these little side paths that are like, man, they're like extra bonus or something that if you, if you go to the right, you know, you're going to find something else that's going to benefit you. You know, you walk a little bit and then you get back, back on the main path. And then you see something on the left and like, oh man, what's over here? And you go over there and, and you find something that's going to benefit your, your family or something. And then you, you go back and, and, and you get back on the main path, you know, but there's sometimes that, that people do that and they go to the right or to the left, but man, they start seeing all these obstacles, all these blockades, all these, uh, all these, uh, just, you know, impassable ways. And they try to do it and they keep on and keep on and trying to pass it and trying to pass it when it's just a solid brick wall, you know, and like, well, I'm going to break this brick wall down and you just find another brick wall and another brick wall. It's just never ending. So if you see something like that, just jump back to the, to the main path because there's always other little paths that you can take. But remember, remember what you're doing this for. Remember what you're running for. Remember what your, what, what is your motivation to do all these things? And uh, that's, that's what I wanted to, to talk to everybody about today is about, you know, your dreams, like what, what is holding you back from your dreams? Is it fear? Is it finances? Is it the, uh, the, the, you know, the, the, you don't have knowledge. Um, is it, you don't, you don't, you just, you want to see everything in front of you and, and you're, you're so afraid that, that, uh, that you don't even want to take the chance to, to try to do something. You know, and, and that's part that that's fine, you know, because we're human and we're going to do all them things and we're, and we're going to go through all that stuff. But take that chance, move, you no, know, move that, you know, try to try to climb that mountain, you know, take all the ne the necessary equipment that you need, take everything that you need, you know, that way you can be successful. And if, and if you go up and you climb and you climb and you climb and you climb and it's like, man, I'm too tired. I just can't make it. You know what? It happens. Come back down. Lay everything out. Make sure you have everything. Reset. Push the reset button and start all over and keep on going. And you get, go up and go up. And you go back up that same path, you're going to know where you stop and you're going to surpass that. And that's what I want you to put in your mind today. I need to surpass where I left, where I left. So if you went and you went up halfway, the next time you go, go up three quarters. The next time, go up all the way to the top. You know, I didn't say that you had to do it like in, in one shot. You know, it, if it takes two or three, do it. Do it because it's going to help you and it's going to help your family. It's going to benefit you. It's going to benefit your family. And that's what it's all about, man. Like when, when, when I say that you need to leave your, your legacy, leave a legacy, keep going, push forward, push through all that stuff, you know, and, it's, and you're going to find that, that on the other side, it's going to be really good. It's going to be really good. It's like when you accomplish something, when you start something, like, let's just say that, you know, military, you go to basic training and like, oh man, this is sorry. And people are yelling at me. I got to do this. I got to do that. But then at your retirement, it's like, was it worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. You know, all that stuff that you had to go through, there was, there was, there was, there was, yeah, there was some bad things, man. But there was the, I, like for me, I think the, the good and positive outweighed the bad and the negative. And that's, that's the way I see life. You know, 
you know, you might be one of those like, oh man, the glass is half empty. Well, I see it as the glass is half full, you know, and that just depends. Like half full is a lot more positive than thinking it's half empty because if you're thinking half empty, you've just lost something. But if I'm thinking half full, then I'm gaining something. Just let that sit in your mind for, for a minute. And, you know, I'm not going to take too much time. Um, but like I said, it was, it was great to be back on here, you know, and I, ho and I hope we're, we're going to do some more things. I know that, uh, that some of the platform is changing in June. Um, so I'll have to see how I'm going to do this. Because like I said in the beginning, I'm not really tech savvy. So I'm going to try to see what I can do. And keep this going, man, because I, I love to do this. So we'll see where that goes because I'm going to keep on going for you guys. Uh, but, man, it's just, it's just it's just awesome. So 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 get motivated. Get pumped up. You know, if you want to do something, go out there and do it. Don't hesitate. Don't like, oh, well, I'm going to wait a year. Don't wait because when that year comes, you could have already been finished with it. So remember that. So thank you for listening to that. That was your dreams. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do my business plugs. And we're going to start with Texas American Floor Co. with Maurice Hernandez. And go out there, get, get uh, give him a call if you want some carpet done, some tile, some luxury vinyl plank. I mean, he does everything. Uh, he'll, he'll go give you free estimates. He'll, he'll do, you know, Maurice will do a lot of the footwork for you. You know, you just got to let him know what you want done. He'll do commercial, residential. You know, he'll do it all. So give him a call at uh, 254-226-1695. Then you can call my friend Patrick at Roll Away Junk at 254-500-8600. And if you're doing any kind of remodeling or you bought a house or you bought properties and people just left a mess for you, they left all this junk and, and you're just like, man, you know, what am I going to do with this? I don't have time to be picking this up. I don't have time to be doing this. Give Patrick a call and, and he'll go out there and he'll give you a quote and he will clean that place up. He he'll take his, you know, he'll take his trailer out there and he will load it all up and he will go take it to the dump and you won't have to do a thing. Give him a call, sit down and chat with him a little bit, and you'll see how you'll like Patrick at Roll Away Jung. So give him a call. And if you're ever in the Abilene area, stop by and give Manuel. Juan Manuel Perez, a call at Even Though Barbecue at 325-333-3292. Man, and if you want him cater, man, he's been, I've been looking a lot of stuff on Facebook. He's starting to cater a lot of quinceañeras and things like that. And I'm talking about, you know, 20, 25, 30 briskets heavy, you know. So if you want him to to go out there and cater for you, and I'm sure that he'll travel too, you, you can uh, hit him up on that telephone number, or you can send him a, Email at mailman, M-E-L-M-A-N, 6300 at Gmail. Man, this guy's got some great barbecue. I mean, give him a call, and he'll give you some prices and things like that, and I'm sure he'll work with you. Just send it, just tell him that, that, that Ruben Hernandez sent you from the folder uh, and uh, see what he can do for you, all right? So next is Barbell County Fitness, my friend Jason. You can give him a call at 254-217-1304. He's out there in Temple, Texas. So if you want to get fit, go out there. And he's got very, very good programs. He's got a couple of uh, free uh, workout days that he can give you and things like that. He's got some some uh, some things you can you know pay by the month, by the year, or however you want to do it. You can give him a call. And man, I'm telling you, he's going to get you fit. He's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. He's beginner friendly. And the other thing that I like about Jason is that that he'll sit there and he will not only uh, get your your uh, your physical body fit, but he wants to get your your spirit fit too, your soul. You know, he's he's a good guy. He's a Christian. He's it's very Christian oriented in there. So I'm pretty sure you'll like it. I've heard some very good things about him. And pretty soon I'm going to go out there and I'm going to join him too. So. Give him a call. Barbell County Fitness at 254-217-1304 or follow him on Facebook. You can also follow uh, RPG Outdoors on Facebook. They do a lot of uh, their own uh, artificial baits. They make them different flavors, different colors, different everything. So if you're a fisherman or you know of some big-time fishermen, 
that want to get in on this, you know, give them a call and they can they can do uh, some orders. You know, just don't overwhelm with I mean, overwhelm them with some big orders because it'd be good for them. But they can create, you know, big orders for you and things like that. Uh, the one the other good thing that I like about them is that is they, they do a, a lot of things with veterans and, you know, they take them fishing. They do the, they do things. I mean, if you need something done and they need to, you know, create and do a some kind of uh, fundraiser for you, they'll do it. Man. That, and that's that's their heart. You know, they have a really good heart to do things. So follow them on Facebook. RPG Outdoors. Man, great. Robert and Angela Garcia. Man, they are so awesome. So if you have anything that you want to ask me or you want me to talk about anything, please, you know, please shoot me an email on the folder dot podcast seven six at gmail.com. Again, that's the folder dot podcast seven six at gmail.com. And I will talk about whatever you want. Uh, if you have any questions uh, and things like that. You know, I will be more than happy to do that for you because, man, I love doing this. Um, I love everybody that, you know, that sends me uh, messages on the, hey, you know what? I, I heard your I heard your your podcast. It's great. And uh, man, it means a, it means a lot to me. You know, I'm very humble about it. Like I told you before, I'm a very humble guy. You know, I don't need I don't need recognition. I'm just trying to do this to help people to just, you know, keep people motivated and things like that. So if you would, you know, just, you know, just shoot somebody like, hey, you know what, have you heard the folder? You know, like I said, I'm not getting no money from this. I am actually getting zero money from doing this. I'm doing this because I love to do it and I love to help people. So pass the folder along and um, and that way we can get some more people. And pretty soon, um, maybe around the end of the year, we're going to be doing some some something really special and uh we'll get that going and and i'll be keeping you guys informed on what's going to happen and what it is but it's going to be really nice and it's a big surprise so but it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit for you to find out so if you want to keep finding out be sure to keep tuning in and i'll be dropping little hints here and there for anything like that so uh say everybody um Monday, big eclipse of the decade or whatever. Go out there, be safe. There's going to be a lot of people here in Central Texas. Um, stock up on your stuff. You know, no telling what it's going to have. But uh, as far as here and uh, like, uh, you know, Waco, Temple Belton area, Colleen, uh, Austin, uh, you might be in for about, you know, uh, about 70% chance of rain on a Monday and Tuesday. So let's just, just keep, keep be aware, keep that. Please be safe out there. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of people coming in from all over the place. Be safe. And, you know, I will be here next time, guys. Um, Let's keep this going. I appreciate you. I appreciate you uh, listening. And remember, everybody, stay 80s and God bless. Thank you.